Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we're going to be getting the seasonal candles, doing the daily quests, finding the treasure cakes, and getting information on today's shard event in the Valley of Triumph. First up, we're going to be collecting the seasonal candles. We have four of these to find. Two of them can be found in the social space, just on either side, and the rest are all below in the center of the ice rink. So let's head down there. Each one of these will give us 25% of the daily wax needed to forge a season candle. Don't mind that winged light, I'll pick it up soon. So finding all four of these will give us one total season candle. And that is every single location. With that done, let's get started on today's daily quests. To send a gift to a friend, we can do it both in person and also in the constellation. All we have to do is find a friend, tap on them, and we do have to have at least hug unlocked so that you can send them a heart. To meditate above Valley Citadel Arch, we are going to take the left exit from the ice rink. This will bring us to the Citadel area. This quest is very easily mixed up with another one that has a very similar name and is in a very similar location. But the Citadel Arch is the very first arch we'll encounter in this area. So we're just going to fly up these steps and we see our first arch right ahead. So we want to fly to the very top of that. For this recording, I don't actually have this meditation quest active, so I won't see the big meditation shrine, but you should. All you have to do is sit down, they'll give you a prompt, you have to write something and send it, and the quest is done. Today's spirit to relive is the Manta Whisperer, and this one is a little bit annoying to relive. If you're new, it's a great way to practice flying, but it is a little bit of a long spirit. So you can find them in the Citadel area, and to get there, you just have to take the leftmost exit from the ice rink in the Valley of Triumph, and we can find the spirit right here. So after reliving the spirit, we are going to have one single checkpoint, and then we're going to have a bunch of little flying checkpoints that you have to catch in midair. Honestly, I kind of like doing the spirit because I like flying in this area. It feels really nice and very free, but I do understand that this one is pretty annoying for most people. So you will have to spot a little blip flying around and catch it many, many times. It's easier if you have more people with you because they can help you. But it's definitely possible to do solo. And again, it's a really, really nice way to practice flying if you're a newer player, especially in this area. You charge up quite a bit, and there's a big wind current which helps boost you up. To rid the Sanctuary Vortex of darkness, we first have to head to the Sanctuary Island. This can be done by teleporting from the Nature Guide, or you can fly all the way there, but that would be a very, very long time. Teleporting from the Nature Guide also puts us on the island where we need to be for this quest. So here's the Nature Guide, and we're just going to keep going around the left-hand side. 
until we see a little light creature stuck in the sand. This is a brand new light creature. We just have to burn the darkness and they are free. There should be a little icon above their head we can press. And this will start to initiate the quest. The light creature will bring us all the way to the vortex. So we just follow them along deep into the ocean over here. And then all the way in the distance, you might be able to spot some trash. This is where we're headed and we are gonna clean up that garbage. Once you get close, we might have a little cutscene, but it is a skippable cutscene if you need to. Sanctuary Vortex, skip. And then we're gonna head to this boat over here where the anxious angler is. You can skip their interaction as well. Basically, they've noticed all the trash in the sea and they're wondering if anyone would pick it up and that is us. Now we just have to sit down at this meditation spot and this will start the quest. There's going to be quite a few pieces of trash to collect and we also have to free some of the manatees. So you can call to spot them if you need to. Otherwise, we're just going to swim around, find them. Some of them might be underwater too. So you may have to dive to find some of the trash. And some of them may take a couple taps to actually grab. You might have to rearrange where you are. Sometimes they slip past you. They can be somewhat finicky, but altogether not too hard. We're going to free the mantas too. The vortex looks pretty cool. This one kept um, bringing me down and then up whenever I'd push it. It was very weird. Just let me free it. There we go. And doing that, we'd complete our quest. And as an extra reward, we have this giant shell over here that we can open and get some wax. Yay, quest is complete. For today's daily treasure candles, our first one we can find in the Golden Wasteland social space right here. The next one is just on the steps next to the Broken Temple in the first area. Our third one is just in the very first cave here, avoiding some lights. There it is. And our fourth one is in the battlefield area, just past the barricade, right here. Nice. Sad news for today, it looks like it is a no shard day. That means that absolutely no shard will be falling in any of the realms today, unfortunate. And that is all of the daily stuff in the Valley of Triumph for today. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.